Hello students, uh, I have uploaded uh, files on UMS uh, regarding your unit number 5 and uh, in that unit there are uh, three topics which we have to cover. The first one is kinematics of a particle. The second is kinematics of a rigid body. Then third is projectiles. So I have uploaded files. Uh, I have named those files as 6.3.20, and so on. So these three files uh, covers the first topic that is kinematics of particle. So I have uploaded uh, some theory also related to kinematics of particle in this particular file and uh, numericals are also given in these three files related to the first topic that is kinematics of particle. But uh, after that I thought uh, that I should uh, share the basics of this particular topic with you through this video so that uh, if you have any confusion while solving these problems uh, that should uh, get clear. So if we talk about uh, kinematics of a particle. So there are two words in this kinematics particle. Uh, if you can recall uh, at the start of the semester we talked about kinematics. So we said it is a branch of mechanics which deals with the problems related to determination of the nature of motion of bodies that is their displacement, velocity and acceleration without any regard to the forces acting on them or the masses involved. That means uh, we are not concerned about any force or the mass of the body we are only concerned about their displacement velocity and acceleration so uh, we cover uh, this particular study under name kinematics and uh, next uh, definition is for particle what is a particle uh, definition says a particle occupies no space that is it has no size but has a definite mass concentrated at a point so usually we consider the concept of particle in uh, mechanics in order to solve the problems. Suppose we are dealing with the problem of uh, aeroplane but if we want to solve that problem we consider that aeroplane as a point. So we uh, assume that uh, it occupies no space and uh, there is no rotation of it about its own axis. So that we should be able to solve problems related to that particular object. Uh, so we consider all those objects as particle in order to solve the problems under mechanics. Now in this particular uh, topic kinematics of particle uh, there are few things to observe. We are only dealing with rectilinear motion in this topic. So what is a rectilinear motion? Uh, when the body or a particle is moving along a straight line. Motion along a straight line means it is moving along a straight line. So that particular uh, motion will be called as rectilinear motion. So under rectilinear motion we are covering uh, two topics. The first is uniform rectilinear motion. So what happens in uniform rectilinear motion? A particle is moving along a straight line with the, uh, zero acceleration. The acceleration of the particle is zero. So that means the velocity of the particle is constant. So under this topic we get one equation. That equation is called as x is equal to x0 plus vt where x is the final distance x0 is the initial distance covered by the particle and v is the velocity of the particle t is the time in seconds so it means if we are given some problem in which it is mentioned that the particle is moving with uniform rectilinear motion uniform that means we have to consider that acceleration is zero and velocity is constant so for that particular problem only one type of equation is applicable so it is very important Whenever we are solving some problem, we should see that uh, that problem relates to which topic. Fine. If uniform rectilinear motion is given, it means you have to consider only one equation to solve that problem. Similarly, the next part is uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion. In this type of motion, the acceleration of the particle is constant. So under this topic, we have three equations. V is equal to V0 plus AT. X is equal to X0 plus v naught t plus half at square third equation is v square minus v naught square is equal to 2 a x minus x naught so these equations are not new to you you have already learned these equations in your previous classes uh, we call this as v is equal to u plus at 
एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर दिस इज वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए एस सो दीज आर द सेम इक्वेशन वी आर यूजिंग हियर सो वन थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ वी आर गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम डेट अवर बॉडी और द पार्टिकल इज मूविंग विद यूनिफॉर्मली एक्सलरेटेड मोशन दैट मीन्स ओनली दीज थ्री इक्वेशन आर एप्लीकेबल दिस इक्वेशन इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल सिमिलरली इफ वी आर गिवन डेट body is moving under uniform rectilinear motion we have to use this only we can cannot use these equations so while solving problems related related to kinematics of a particle given in these three uh, uh, files you have to uh, apply this concept if uniform rectilinear motion given we have to use this equation if uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion given we will we can use these three equations depending upon the data given in the question now over here if we have to define these uh, uh, variables v is the final velocity v not is the initial velocity a is the acceleration t is time taken in seconds so x is the uh, final distance x not is the initial distance similarly v not initial velocity t time taken a acceleration t time taken v final velocity v not initial velocity a is acceleration so this is s s is what final distance minus initial distance now few more things to observe that when you will solve problems uh, related to kinematics of particle then uh, these uh, few concepts will be there in the numericals that uh, you will be given uh, some problem in that problem uh, one equation is given to you and he is saying that uh, particle has a equation of distance x is the distance which is in terms of time and to find its velocity at any time uh, t so what do you have to do for that whatever equation is given to us we have to take the derivative of that equation so what we are saying velocity is the uh, derivative of the above equation that is take the derivative of distance dx by dt so when you will take the derivative you will get uh, your equation for velocity so if he says that find velocity of the particle at t equal to 5 seconds and this equation is given to us first take the derivative of this equation by and put t equal to 5 in this equation you will get the velocity of that particle similarly uh, then suppose we are asked that also find its acceleration at time t equal to 6 seconds so whatever equations we got equation we got for velocity take the derivative of that equation again to get the acceleration that is a equal to dy by dv by dt so reverse of this is also true means we are given some equation of acceleration and we are asked to find its velocity so what we have to do we have to take the integration we have to integrate that equation so take the integration uh, integration of that equation uh, v equal to integration of acceleration d dt so you will get some equation for velocity v similarly suppose you have equation of v given and you are asked to find its distance then what do you need to do you need to integrate the equation of velocity so x is equal to integration of velocity equation and again you will get some equation in term uh, for x and uh, whatever uh, um, uh, is asked in the problem related to the distance covered at time t you can use these equations so this concept you should keep in your mind for uh, the numericals which you will cover under kinematics of particles that means you may be given some equation in terms of uh, of x in terms of t you may be asked to find velocity so take the derivative you may be asked for uh, find uh, to find the acceleration take the derivative of dv by dt so reverse is also true you are given some equation of acceleration in terms of t if you want to find v take the integration if you want to find x take the integration so uh, only this concept you require uh, for uh, these three files which i have uploaded 6.3.20 so try to cover all the numericals of these uh, files uh, if you feel that uh, some problem is there and you are not able to understand a, a particular problem just uh, send me uh, uh, your doubt on uh, on the app which we are using uh, and uh, what i will do uh, after that i will uh, try to upload one more video on uh, uh, kinematics of rigid body then i will uh, similarly make one video on uh, projectiles so i request uh, uh, to you uh, that you must solve all the problems uh, given in the files which i am uploading so if you have any doubt you can ask me through the app uh, thank you very much